Woo. Okay, we're back in Riverview. It's about this is about eight hours till the eye hits us, so it's supposed to get busy here. It's been some heavy winds right now. We just had a little break. I thought I'd grab the phone, give you guys a little update. What's up? Try to keep the phone dry. Let's see. All right. So here's the status update. We got the house over here. Tim, come on. Got this little trailer hooked up. Got to get this baby moved. It's getting a little wet out here. We got the boots on. Boots on the ground. Uh, we just take a moment to admire these beautiful flowers, though. All right. So, so yeah, this is the wide angle here. We're just rolling up some wires. Get a couple of things moved around last minute here. There we go. How we doing, Timber? Huh? I figure as long as the dog's doing good, I'm doing good. Let's see, we're still recording? Yeah, okay. This is what you get, ladies and gentlemen. You get a couple of people driving around with their trucks. TA, we don't play. They're probably loaded down with beer. Beer and bullets. Right about now. All right, I get that. That all put up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we got about a couple inches of water going on right now. <clears throat> oh boy, what about it? So, right now we're still getting good drainage. My little ditches over here, you know what I mean? Keep that all flowing. So they're saying like 110. We got some neighbors. Let's see, can you see this? I'm sorry, we're moving so fast. Got some neighbors who got the boarded up over here. Ready for the storm timber? Hey. So we're gonna hold down the fort for this one, this 80 foot tree. I don't know about this 80 foot tree here. Let's see what else we got going on. We're gonna pull this trailer. Pull this trailer right over here. We got this. It's supposed to be northeast. So this is north. East. We got west over here. And then down here we got south. So the wind's supposed to be coming in from the northeast. Then it's going to switch over to the east. Then it's going to come at us from the southeast. So I got a little danger zone out here. Some assorted wood metal no doubt tried to get it put down pretty good got some heavy stuff on the ground oh took the bumper off the car as a precaution you know you know what do we have oh yeah what do we have right here uh, from Manatee County's curfew going into effect. What's up, baby? At 3 p.m. and that will be in effect till 3 p.m. tomorrow. A uh, couple hours away from St. Pete. What's up, baby? At so scanny. City of Temple Terrace has enacted a 6 p.m. curfew, and then Boy. the city of Tampa I will try to come in. Got a little backup for him here. She's going in the house. 
this way. <laughs> no one. <laughs> Nobody else will be going in the house, that's for sure. Mom's got everything all put down, right? What to say, Tim? Mom's got a lot of stuff put down here. Everything's sealed up. We got a little leak right here. Yep, nice and tight. Got the freezer on, some water. Couple extra saws. Hundred year old plant. Just trying to think of something better to do with this baby. I don't know what to do. Hopefully this roof holds. We're gonna see, we've been through some big ones before. They swear this one's gonna be the end all. The neighbor's got, let's see if you can see this. Yeah, the neighbor's got a semi truck set up in front of their house. Oh, and just like that, the tarp's gone, huh? That's all it took. Tarp is out of there. So we'll probably get some pretty heavy, some pretty heavy rain on this side of the house. We'll just have to see what happens. A couple of trees, we topped them in the past here. See up here? Where are we at? Top 10 babies. They grew back a little bit. Yo, how we doing? Yeah, I was just taking a little video, man. I think I'm going to be okay. What about you guys? Yeah, already. North of us was getting hit too. Yeah. Tampa's got some kind of unique features that way, man. No electric. Phone went down for about three hours, a couple hours here, but it popped back up. It's Metro though. They're prop. They're probably. Yeah, maybe it's still that way. It looked like it come back up, but I think a lot of people are running that. I was in Panama City, but I just, I'm an adventurous person, man. I said, what the hell? It was like when I checked the wind up there, it said it was going to be like 27 miles an hour. I'm like, man, now nah, I'm heading south. I'm fucking heading south. I ain't lying. Now, now my dad's in Fort Myers. He come up to Lakeland. He, they're actually, you know, they might really get messed up down there. Yeah, way out of here. I left for Charlie, man, and I'm glad I did. But it didn't really, you know, I don't know what it would have done. I was just battening down a couple extra hatches, man. A couple beers and some pretzels and let's fucking see, see how it looks in the morning. That's right. <laughs> I think they'll mostly be okay. The difference between 80 and 100, each much more miles an hour keeps fucking going up. You know what I mean? 80, it can kind of, 60, it's okay, 80, it'll, it'll be okay, you know, most of them. We'll get a lot of damage at 80. If it gets up around 110, I don't, I'd be interested to see what happens. Not. There you go. 120? She took care of everything pretty good, man. I think we'll be all right. Yeah, that's what's next. I figured the cars, I got the, you know, 12 volt, the phone, and the damn radio, and that's what you got. A couple cans of beans and some crackers, man. <laughs> damn right. <laughs> damn right. <laughs> Yeah, as long as you got some fuel in the tank. Damn near a week, right?
Yeah, I don't think we'll be no 